Good morning, everyone. This is Sajan with you for the Dog Training Web Series. So today, I'm I got an interesting topic. Uh, what I really want to discuss. Um, it's the three ways to build a knowledge base wiki in SharePoint. Okay, now I'm pretty sure you heard about wiki building wiki pages for your organization. So now I'm gonna go through the out of the box capabilities in SharePoint and three different ways where you'll be able to create an effective wiki page for your organization. So there are three ways. Okay, so the first way is the wiki library web part. The second one is the site pages document library and the third one is yes, the enterprise wiki. So I'm gonna go through one by one and show how it works, right? So let's go with the first one. So obviously I'm gonna add a web part. So what I do is I go to settings click on add an app and I need to look for look for wiki page library so go ahead and click on it I'm just gonna give a name sample oh, excuse me yeah sample wiki uh, if you're gonna click on advanced options it's just gonna go to a name and a description tab that's the extras that you get so let's go ahead and create one so sample wiki here you go so I have created a wiki page library so you'll be able to identify what kind of document or a file you have in your folder so there's a couple of document libraries lists and then I have a key library wiki page library right I'm just gonna click on the one which we created right now. Here you go. So that's my wiki library page. So I have a default text that's been added over here. So that's one way of creating a simple wiki library. I, want, I can just go ahead and edit it. And you know, I can put in my relevant content, and add some videos or images, make it more fancy. So that's one way of creating a wiki page in my SharePoint so, so why don't you go to the next part that's the site pages document library so all right the second one that's the site page document library so what you need to do is you go to your folders and then search for site pages right so click on my site pages I get to see my existing pages so I just have to go click on new and click on the wiki page so that's what's over here so there's an example here perfect example so I just go and click on wiki page and then I can start using it as, a, as the same as the first stage it's the same thing uh, so just uh, I just don't need to add an app I can just go to the sites pages and create a wiki page just directly from here just have to call the page name and then create as simple as that okay so that's number two so let's go with the third option now which is the enterprise wiki so here the third is nothing but i need to go and create a subsite that's the first thing that i need to do so i'm going to click on subsite basically i can define you know what kind of type i need to you know it's a template basically right so I'm just gonna call it name and I can also give a website address customized basically and then I click on publishing and I select enterprise wiki that's all I need to do and then I click on create. So here you go. So that's the enterprise wiki, Sam. That's the one which I've created. As you see the difference now, let me open both of that. Uh, you know, just going to give you a comparison. Now this is the uh, standard. That's the default wiki piece that I created earlier. I don't see the ratings or the tags over here but whereas now here for the enterprise wiki i have the page rating and the categories i can add so i can also edit and add necessary tags or the categories 
So that's going to help my search as well. So I'm just going to click on edit. And here I have an option to add my category. So okay, I'm just calling it PMO and HR. Yeah, so I have the categories already there. So it's HR. Seems like IT works here. Okay, perfect. So I have two categories being added already and click on checkout. Okay, so that's almost saved. And I also I can go ahead and add videos or pictures. So that's that's the whole idea of having a wiki page, right? So you can go ahead and add pictures or videos or links. So see, I have an old Office 365 video, so I'm just going to probably add one of these. Now let's go ahead and add this. There you go. So as you see, I have added a snippet. So this is one of the video that, that's, that, that's from the Office 365 video channel. So that's one good feature that we have. So I can go ahead and add videos or pictures. And then I can go ahead and there you go. So I have that. Let's go ahead and you know, save it. Perfect. So now I have my enterprise wiki page you can see the last modified and by which user and this is my recent update that I've added here also I have the page ratings and the categories right so I've added IT and HR and then the next best feature is something is to track the history and this is really important in terms of uh, building a wiki page for your organization so you need to track the previous history of the content right so that's very very important so in order to do that you need to go click on edit and then move to page and then click on page history so you, you get to see the version difference from view text changes made in the previous versions of this page so i'm just going to go click on page history and then i'll be able to select which are my previous versions and so see any 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 kind of information everything is actually over here it shows up here so i can compare with my versions so the previous day was at 4 2 a.m and the latest one is at 4 5 4 or 5 yes and this is one change i made so basically i'll be able to track what are the changes what has been deleted and what has been added so the green one is added and the red one is put deleted. So I get to say that so I can probably, I can track each and everything what has happened. So if I click on version history, I can get the details of that. Who has modified the document? I mean the wiki page basically. And yes. So that's the third that is the enterprise wiki that's one i wanted to discuss about i can also make use of this search here which is obviously the sharepoint default feature it's nothing really fancy but you know you can really make use of it so you just you know you can defaultly you can pick up all the keywords from the pages that you create in the site right so you can go ahead and the search and then you can you know search for these keywords and you should be getting the pretty accurate results the rest of the keywords from the whole site collection now apart from this now what i would like to discuss is um, how you can utilize sharepoint wiki in your company now um, over the years i've seen clients use wiki for a variety of different types of pages or content and the obvious choice is a company-wide you know knowledge base where many great users you know the great users you can really make use of your company in a portal uh, 
you know the SharePoint wiki page so here are some ideas for you or examples so you know what I've seen my customers do so first one is obviously you can use it for your HR we can make use of your employee onboarding so you can easily share information links and documents with new employees and the PMO for the project management you can build a wiki or knowledge base to document and share project management methodology and for FAQs you can create frequently asked questions zone for your employees so this is major advantage of having a SharePoint wiki in your organization so that's it from my side and thank you very much for watching and please stay tuned for more SharePoint related videos I also write a lot of blogs so you can access my blogs at mydoc365.com slash blogs and write mostly on SharePoint and our turnkey internet portal doc. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.